for this church to be demolished to make way for more redevelopment in Workington. What redevelopment was done, in my opinion, was just a mess. I call it Lego land. And that's the start of it over there. It's absolutely faceless. This is what's left of Thompson Street. And down into Legoland. It's a sunny but cold spring Easter Sunday morning. And I'll get these pictures while the town's very quiet. back to Washington Street and then round the corner along back towards Powell Street and the opposite end to the Opera House. In up Powell Street which is now pedestrianised back along that was once John Street. And right round in the arc and now we're looking the other way along pedestrianised Power Street towards what was once the post office corner. And there's Woolworths on the right hand side. Opposite Woolworths is a block which is shortly due for demolition. This one here. Lay's Bakery where Janet worked. Benson's shoe shop next door. And the, and the green grocer which will be the last to close. All this block due to come down shortly. Now looking along Muller Road. There are quite a few shops closed here on Muller Road these days too. Back side of the Ray's Bakery block, it's coming down. And the other end of town centre Legoland. We call that St John's Arcade. I call it a wind tunnel. Well, mainly before they put the doors on. Not so bad now. St John's Church Tower and working in Conservative Club. At the other end of town we have Workington Main Railway Station, Law Station as it was called when the Central Station was in operation. And leading from the town centre, of course, is Station Road leading down to the railway station. Now when my mother and grandmother lived down this area, it was very busy and prosperous part of town for businesses, but I'm afraid today run down. Station Road, post office where my grandmother got a pension money.